opponents. In the face of a barrage of attacks, Arthur dodges and fights back. In this arena, Arthur was like a god from heaven. His attacks were uncanny in every way. In the face of the female fighter, he restrained his anger. But still, in the most gentle way, he makes his opponent spin 360 degrees in the air, losing all his strength. The last enemy was a big one. Arthur slammed his big toe. Arthur then swung his hammer and killed his last enemy. Arthur did it. He was just one step away from the woman he loved. After the fight, Arthur meets his teacher who arrives on the scene. He learns that Arthur's mother has died. It turns out that his mother knew Arthur's death was deliberately planned by Mephitrion. Mephitrion finally realizes that Arthur is the son of Zeus. He came to overthrow Mephitrion's rule. The queen wanted to avenge her son's death, but was killed by an angry Mephitrion instead. Arthur thought that the great prince would think the same as he did. Instead, his brother's troops slaughtered and looted the villages. The people's lives became more miserable. It was only then that he realized what his mother's mission was. He went to the local village and drove out the soldiers who were bullying the people. He won the love of the people. At this point, Arthur began to care for the people.